Hey guys, welcome to the Unon Panel 2021. Hey, uh, I'm Matt Moylan, and this is Eric Ko, and uh, we're here to tell you about some cool upcoming Udon books and uh, pins and other merchandise. Um, this is another virtual convention this year, but we hope to all see you again next year in person. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some new books for Street Fighter, for Shantae, Persona 5, uh, Steins Gate, Mega Man, and some other stuff. What are you going to talk about, Eric? Well, you know, it's not San Diego without the merchandise. So let's talk about the exclusive offerings this year first. Cool. Udon's coming to San Diego Comic-Con. And of course, we will bring you the most popular item, the metal cards. For every $75 purchase, you'll get one random metal card with your order. The characters given away this time will be Ken, Blanca, and Zangi. For those who has been collecting the Street Fighter metal cards, don't miss out on the chance to complete your collection. We are also offering a four King retail set that includes Balrog, Vega, Sagat, and M. Bison. Like the previous retail sets before, these four cards will come mounted in a handsome four-fold folio with artwork done by Edwin Huang. You want more cards? Then be sure to check out the Swimsuit Collection Hardcover Player 2 Edition. This art book is exclusive to Comic-Con release at only 200 copies, and each one will come with a pink Chun-Li gold card. Dark Stalker fans will be delighted to know that we are continuing the Pin Stalker series with our third round of character pins available now. Round three includes Lilith, Bishamon, and John Talbane, and when you buy all three, you'll get a Bishamon metal card to go with them. Also available are a jumbo-sized Nacris pin. Look at that. This pin is so big compared to the Lilith that you know we are actually selling it as an individual pin. And the Anacharis pin will come with its own metal guard. And we have more pins to offer. It's summertime, so what is better than getting some Street Fighter ice cream bars? A collaboration with Pete Fighter. These Sweet Fighter pins feature 3D gumball eyes on each of them. The set includes Ryu, Cheng Li, Akuma, and Blanca. They're super cute and will no doubt bring some smiles to your pin collection. Next up, we have a cool shadow emblem pin that features a gold trim with glitter enamel fill. This pin will surely sparkle on your jacket and your backpack. For the Mega Man fans, look out for the Tron Bond Surfboard variant that is only limited to 200 units and it's available only during the Comic-Con week. Hey, don't forget our awesome Capcom t-shirts. First up, we have two Street Fighter shirts on pre-order. The Akuma shirt features artwork by Arnold Tseng that will wrap around the body. Also available is a very special Chun Li Gold Fall Dragon tee that features brand new artwork done by Panzer. This special shirt will feature a gold foil element on the dragon and gold accents on the strongest woman in the world. Next up, Monster Hunter fans will be able to order two new shirts right now at our store. The first one features a lineup of fan favorite poogies across the front of the shirt. Look how adorable they are. For the fans that are looking for something less cute and more cool, we have the Monster Hunter emblem shirt for you. We are offering a regular version of this graphic shirt and also doing a special edition that features a gold foil emblem that will make you look super cool among your fellow hunters. Now remember, all the Udon shirts are limited to the pre-order run only. So get them now while you can or else they'll be retired after the pre-sale period. Speaking of fighting games, Udon started our collaboration with Arc System Works to bring you merchandise based on the newest Guilty Gear Strive game. We released some pins and shirts last month, and we are continuing the line with the debut release of Kai and Milia character pins, as well as the Kai and Giovanna t-shirt. More character pins and shirts will be coming in the future, so for all of you Beauty Gear fans out there, remember to stay tuned. For you Shantae fans, did you get a chance to pick up our last Shantae character pins? Right now, we're debuting a new set of character portrait pins that features all five of your favorite gang, plus this special Nega Shantae pin that only comes with the full set purchase. Also available 
is a special edition Art of Shante Gold Foil art book that is limited to only 400 copies worldwide. Get yours now before they're all gone. We also have three new Shante shirts for pre-order, featuring Shante and fan favorite Risky Boots and Roddy Tops. Lastly, with the groundbreaking joint announcement of Big West and Harmony Gold regarding about the Mafros franchise, Udon is proud to present a bunch of new t-shirts featuring the fan favorite Valkyrie. The first shirt shows off the battle royal mode ejecting its armor, and it comes in gray and black. And the other two features the fighter modes of Hikaru Ichijo, also known as Rick Hunter's VF1J, and Roy Fokker's VF1S. These three shirts are available now for pre-ordering. On top of all these things mentioned, there are a lot more great pins and books and shirts at our online store. So be sure to check it out at www.udonstore.com. And you might find some other surprise releases that are not mentioned here. Now. I'll take you back to Matt to tell you about our publishing projects. Okay, let's talk about Persona 5 books. So, uh, Udon is going to be publishing, starting in December, the three-volume Persona 5 Mementos Mission uh, manga series, uh, illustrated and written by Rokuro Saito. Uh, this, is a, this is not a game adaptation like some of our other Persona mangas. This is an original uh, side story created by Saito and uh, it is uh, featuring all your favorite Persona 5 characters. It's got, you know, of course, Joker, it's got uh, Futaba, Goro, and uh, Makoto. Um, like all, all the all the Persona 5 cast is here. Um, they're going to be solving the mystery of the Twin Fang Killer. Uh, and because, of course, it's a mystery, you don't want to say too much about it, but all kinds of awesome action and adventure there's some great artwork in it um this is really good artwork uh by by rokuro saito and yeah if you're a fan of the persona 5 games and you just want more new stories that uh you haven't heard before check out persona 5 mementos mission beginning in december 2021 and besides that uh we've also got persona 5 official design works now this is a huge art book featuring all of the uh, the uh, artwork from the Persona 5 game. And uh, Udon will be translating it. This is the original Japanese edition. This is going to be one of the thickest art books we've ever produced at over 500 pages. Um, and it's going to get bigger because Udon is adding to this uh, the, um, the artwork from Persona 5 uh, Royal. So... Uh, the Udon edition is actually going to be titled Persona 5 plus P5R Official Design Works. And if you just want to look at some of the stuff that's in here, there's all kinds of character rough concepts, um, in-game artwork, promotional artwork, uh, there's some animation stuff at the back, there's creator interviews, location designs, um, and all kinds of stuff. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, it's just going to get bigger as we add in the, per, the P5R material. Um, and this is going to be a book that no Persona 5 fan will want to be without. The long-awaited Art of Shantae art book is finally about to arrive. It's coming in August. And this awesome book collects uh, the artwork of all the Shantae games. Um, it's been a long time coming there were only there were only four games when we started the book and now there's five but uh but this book is just something that every shantae fan or fan of great artwork is going to want it covers the original shantae risky's revenge pirate's curse half genie hero seven sirens plus some other stuff even um but it's just filled with early concepts uh promotional artwork it's got a great uh, running commentary sort of throughout the, the whole book um, that Matt Bozon, uh, one of uh, Shantae's creators, along with his wife, Aaron Bozon, uh, who, who just, Matt, Matt just provided tons of great information throughout the whole book. 
Um, you can see Shantae and all of her friends as they develop uh, and change throughout the games. You can see this is some like uh, exploration work by various artists uh, when they're looking to, to nail the style of each game. Um, ridiculous amounts of stuff in here. This book's 264 pages. Ooh, it's great. I won't spoil everything for you, but I'll just do some flips. We've got rough concepts of monsters. We've got location designs. Um, we've got items, like pretty much everything you can make. Alternate costumes. We've got bonus stuff at the back, like uh, some merchandise, pictures, everything to do with Shantae. Um, so yeah, if you're a Shantae fan, you have to get this book, the Ultimate Shantae Art Book. Pick it up uh, this August. Steins Gate Zero. This is a new manga series uh, coming from Udon uh, beginning in September 2021 and it is actually a sequel to a previous manga series Udon published just titled Steins Gate. Um, I say um, it's kind of based on based on the visual novel of the same name but I think really in Japan they kind of came out at the same time. It's kind of a cross promotion thing um, but there's a uh, there's the visual novel, uh, there's uh, an, a an anime, there's anime movies based on Steins Gate. Uh, what it comes down to is it's an awesome sci-fi story um, where a group of young scientists led by Huin Kuma, the self-described mad scientist, um, accidentally invent a time machine by crossing a microwave with a cell phone. Uh, and it gives them the ability to send text messages into the past uh, because they they're not traveling into the past themselves they're just sending messages they don't know exactly what the effects are going to be on the present and sometimes cool stuff happens and sometimes horrible awful stuff happens um, and it, it becomes just them you know trying to fix all the problems that they've caused um, now I won't give away all the details but you know in the end Steins Gate works out okay and they have a happy ending but this new series Steins Gate Zero is what if they did not get a happy ending and some of the awful things they were not able to fix um, so one of the characters has passed away who in Kuma has kind of become dark and depressed um, there's some new characters but yeah the Kuma's friends uh, band together and try to you know make one last effort at fixing the world at fixing things so steins gate zero's uh a great series it, in japan and uh it is six volumes but we are going to be combining uh two volumes in one so ours is going to our series is going to be three big thick volumes we're also upsizing it to the normal jumbo manga size that udon does um so this is the Japanese edition here, but our edition will be just as big as the original Steins Gate. And the original Steins Gate manga is very hard to find, so we will be re-releasing this fall all three volumes of the original Steins Gate in one omnibus edition so that you can easily catch up if you've never read the original story. I should also say that uh, the new Steins Gate Manga Zero is being translated by uh, Andrew Hodgson, who is... Um, known as Steiner in the Steins Gate community. Um, he's one of the original translators that worked on the Steins Gate game. Uh, so we're glad to have him aboard, making sure everything's uh, uh, all in line with the, the Steins Gate universe. So yeah, pick up Steins Gate Zero, pick up Steins Gate Omnibus, and enjoy some awesome sci-fi action. Next, we're going to talk about three new Udon art books. And first up is Street Fighter Memorial Archive Beyond the World. Uh, now, this is a celebration of the whole Street Fighter franchise from the original Street Fighter all the way up to Street Fighter V. Um, it features classic video game art, new tribute art, interviews, uh, game info, all kinds of stuff. Um, so you'll, of course, see like some of the, the top Capcom guys like Bengus and uh, Kino Nishimura providing artwork and uh, Akimon. But you'll also see tons of like manga artists like Yusuke Murata, who uh, is a big Capcom fan. Um, Katsuya Tarada is in here. Uh, 
Takasa Jun is a, a video game artist who didn't really work at Capcom. He worked on some a lot of other games. So there's all kinds of great tribute art in here. Um, you'll also see we've got uh, profiles of all the characters from Street Fighter V, and uh, some of their and uh, included with that is their game endings. Um, we've also got stuff like let's see, here's. Uh, one of the interviews, so there's interviews with artists, interviews with uh, game developers, interviews with manga artists who worked on Street Fighter manga, um, even uh, the president of Capcom and the CEO of Capcom get interviewed in here at, at one point, so, um, and the interviews are mixed in with a lot of the classic uh, game art, like here you see some art from Street Fighter 2. Um, so as you go through the book, you'll see things like that, more interviews and classic art, even some of the uh, Street Fighter EX art that you don't get to see a lot of. Uh, you'll also get cool stuff like, what do we got here? This is, you know, which country everybody's from. We've got a de detailed character profile um, with everybody's, you know, stats and some info about even like obscure characters, like people's parents, people's kids. Uh, people who just appeared in one little bit of the game, so all kinds of stuff. We made into the final fight characters, um, and then yeah, more tribute art, uh, more background on the game, on the uh, original game, all kinds of stuff. So this is a awesome book for any Street Fighter fan. Um, everybody will want it in their collection. Uh, next up, we got so I don't actually have the real book yet, but here we have a, a dummy copy of the upcoming Mega Man X Maverick Hunter's Field Guide, which is a sequel to this little book, the Mega Man Robot Master Field Guide, with, which covered all the, the robots from the classic Mega Man series. So now we're moving on to Mega Man X. Um, David Oxford and Nadia Oxford wrote the text for this book. They did a ton of research, checking stuff, making sure all the terms were right. Um, to get all the characters, so this covers all the the you know the the bosses or you know usually call them the Mavericks from Mega Man X, um, plus all kinds of other you know important robots and characters. Now most of the art in the book is official game art, like this picture of Axel here. But uh, some characters don't have a full body official game art. So Jeffrey Cruz, who is an Udon artist, you might know him better as Chamba. He drew a uh, full body character art for anybody who was missing um, and it's great because Chomp is also uh, an official Mega Man artist because he's done a lot of promo artwork for various Capcom uh, projects for Mega Man now so you know it's got all kinds of info about every single character and then uh, because we didn't want to overload some of the the profiles like the big like X's profile here is already pretty big we have a section at the back where we have things like uh, all the different armors that X had, or also that Zero and Axel had in the games. Um, we've got a section for vehicles, like the ride chasers, they're like the hover bikes that they have, or the ride armors. And we've also got a section at the back just for all the forms of Sigma, many, many forms of Sigma throughout all the different games. So that's uh, coming to stores in August 2021, um, and I hope you pick it up. One more book to, to look at, though. We've got here, Fate Return to Avalon. Now, this is the Japanese edition, but we've got the English edition coming out this fall. Um, this is a collection of uh, artwork by Takashi Takuchi, who's the main artist on the, the Fate series, and this collects some of his, or like really most of his great pinup artwork um, from throughout the Fate series. So from like the original Fate games all the way up to Fate Grand Order, there's uh, video games box art in here, there's DVD and Blu-ray covers. Uh, just like promotional images. So some of this stuff is rare. Some of this stuff it's great to just see see it blown up full size and without any graphics on it. Um, 
So this is a hefty hardcover book, and it's going to be coming this fall for Wudan. Now we're going to take a look at a bunch of titles Udon has reprints coming up for uh, pretty soon. So if you see any of these books on eBay, do not pay the crazy, crazy eBay prices. They're all going to be back in stock uh, at regular price at retailers like Barnes & Noble and Amazon and maybe your local comic shop uh, sometime maybe August, September, or October, depending on the title. So first up, of course, the Dark Souls series. It's one of our most popular art book series, Dark Souls Design Works, for Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. They're all getting new printings. And also uh, their little brother, Bloodborne Official Artworks, is also coming back in stock. Uh, next up we've got Shigenori Soejima Artworks 1 and 2. Soejima is known as the artist behind... Um, the Persona series, at least the later games, 3, 4, and 5. Um, and so these collect uh, a lot of his Persona artwork, as well as artwork from a few of his other projects. And uh, Book 2 also includes uh, the P Studio Art Unit, which is the art sub studio at Atlas that uh, Soijima generates his artwork through. So those are both coming back. Um, for Capcom news, if you're a Mega Man fan, Mega Man. Official Complete Works, so featuring all the artwork of the classic Mega Man series, is going to be back, as well as um, Mega Man Zero Official Complete Works, and Mega Man Battle Network Official Complete Works, and uh, also the other titles in the uh, Mega Man Official Complete Works series, uh, Mega Man Star Force and Mega Man X. Those uh, Complete Works books are also still available, so you can get a full set until the next one comes out, which will be soon enough. Um, also, Darkstalkers Official Complete Works, collecting all the artwork of all the Darkstalkers games. Uh, doing a new printing for this. We've got Okami Official Complete Works, which is uh, one of the earliest Capcom art books that Udon published, and still one of our best-selling ones. So, of course, we're reprinting that, as well as Monster Hunter Illustrations 3. Uh, Monster Hunter Illustrations 1 and 2 were recently reprinted. Volume 3 is getting harder to find, so we've got a new printing of that coming out soon, too. And then, last art book I've got here is Neon Genesis Evangelion TV Animation Production Art Collection. It's a long title, but this collects all of the black and white uh, rough sketches and concepts from the uh, Ava original TV series and the original uh, movie. So that's a great book. It's hundreds of pages. Then besides art books, we've also got manga coming back. Uh, we've got Stravaganza Volume 1, which is a great series about a queen who secretly sneaks out of her castle and helps her people. It's full of elves and orcs and lizard people and werewolves. All kinds of stuff. So Stravaganza Volume 1 back in print since it's sold out. Um, also Ryoko Akita's Rose of Versailles series. Uh, volume 1 is sold out a couple times so this is going to be the third printing of Volume 1 and we're going to do a new printing of Volume 2. We'll probably need to do printings of 3, 4, and 5 at some point. Um, but yeah, if you're if uh, these are hard to find for you, don't worry. There's more copies coming. And lastly, we'll talk about the Persona 3 manga volume. Some of these have been hard to find lately, so volume one, two, and three, uh, and four are already back in stock in stores. And we're reprinting five and six. And we've also reprinted the same artist. Uh, Shuji Sogabi's other series, Persona 4, Volume 1, 2, and 3, are also all reprinted. Um, so it's a great way to prepare for the upcoming Persona 5 Memento's Mission manga. Um, yeah, so if there's any more Udon books that you're finding, having trouble finding you think should be reprinted, let us know. Back at Comic-Con 2015, Udon announced that we have the rights to the Rose of Versailles 
and we took the time to curate all the artwork and meticulously work on the adaptation to give this queen of sojo manga the proper treatment. The series started publishing in 2019, and right now all five volumes are available in premium hardcover omnibus format. Now at Comic-Con this year, we are proud to announce that Udon has gotten the rights to the sequel volumes of the series, and these volumes will be published under the title Rose Oversight Episodes. More than 25 years after she finished the original series, Ryoko Ikeda-sensei started a new serialization in 2013 with stories focusing on various side characters that are happening in a parallel timeline as the original comics. This gives the reader a much more in-depth look at characters like Andre, Alan, Geraldelle, and Rosalie. Now, Rose fans, don't worry. We have taken our experience from the last time, so we have already been deep in the works of these volumes when we make this announcement. The Rose of Versailles episodes will be collected in two omnibus volumes and scheduled to be released in late spring 2022. All right, that's it for now. Remember, you know, these are only a couple of the projects that we have this year, and we have more coming for the rest of 2021 and more in 2022. So in the meantime, stay tuned, follow our social media, and be safe. Bye. See you next time, guys. We should actually tell Pete if we have time, just cut some of the B-rolls and things out. And just tell him to make, <laughs> see if he can just get a list of, I don't know, like credits rolling, like fake credits, just a bunch of Street Fighter character names or something. <laughs> <laughs> and just roll credits. And just over. roll the credits over the, over outtakes. Over the outtakes. <laughs> Well, here we go again, meeting here, in virtual uh, space. Uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just say hi and you take over. <laughs> take one. And, you know, in 2020 and so forth. So be sure to follow us on our social media. I do again. He did. He said 2020. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. But this year, we're going to be providing you with this year. I guess I should actually just write this and do it again. So, bye. Now we're going to start again with the capital t shirt thing. I'm going to change. Yeah, right. I'm just going stupid on this. The Street Fighter shirt on. Also available is a spe special bit. Yeah, what the f no, I'm not looking at the camera. Do it again. The Kuma shirt features are. I need to sleep, please.